Ladies and gentlemen, Greg Michalowski from ForexLive.com. This is a Forex Quick Look. I'm going to take a look at the dollar versus Canada. Today's date is October 11, 2020. I'm looking at the four-hour chart of this uh, this currency pair. And uh, since I'm moving sharply to the downside on Monday, the price has uh, been largely uh, contained with lots of ups and down price action uh, in trading yesterday. And again, today, what, what's, what you note off this uh, chart is that this 200 Bar moving average on the four-hour chart has uh, did, done a good job of holding support not once but twice. Uh, and on the top side, we have this uh, swing area here. The swing area is defined by different uh, swing levels through here and then reestablished uh, resistance here uh, and then moved above it and, re and had support here. Uh, and then resistance here before moving to the downside. We uh, In trading last week, the price uh, came up to the low of that swing area and then broke through and moved to the upside. So we've seen a move lower away from this area and a move higher away from it in the trading this week. The price moved below it on Monday's uh, trade down to that 200 bar moving average. And then for the most part, uh, use the top of that uh, swing area near the 136 1.36125 as resistance, uh, not only in trading yesterday, but again today uh, and move down. So we have uh, what we have technically uh, here is the price trading in between uh, support down here versus the 100 and 200 bar moving average and resistance up here against the swing area. Uh, traders will look for either a break to the upside. If we do that, get that, we're going to look for the 38.2% retracement as a confirmation of more upside potential. Uh, if we uh, break to the downside, getting below the 200, which is hold, held the last uh, two times, actually, uh, if, you, if you go back in time and you take a look at the, these highs through here, the price found resistance against it and then found support against it. So a lot of different uh, uh, times over here, one, two, three, four, five, as a matter of fact, where the price either held resistance or held support against the 200 bar moving average. But if we move below it and the 100 as a confirmation, then the downside would be the preferred um, what would be the the bias uh, and uh, control for the uh, dollar versus Canada. So there you have it, a, look, a technical look at the dollar versus Canada to start your trading day. My name is Greg Mankoloski. Good fortune with your trading. Bye-bye now.